I am Anil Kumar and here is another question on optimization. Prove that any cylindrical can of volume k cubic units that is to be made using a minimum amount of material must have the height equal to diameter. Now these general questions are very important for you. They give you the whole concept. So let us sketch one uh, can which is cylindrical in nature. Let's say that is the can for us. Okay, So that is the can. So we'll assume that the height is h and the radius is r for this particular can and the radius is r for us right so that is the can now let us see what the volume is now volume of cylinder as you know is area of the base which is pi r square times height so that is the volume for any cylinder right so what we are given here is Prove that any cylindrical can of volume k. So we are given k as the volume. So we say k is equals to pi r square h. So that is the volume given to us. Then it says k cubic units that is to be made using minimum amount of material must have height equal to diameter. That is what we have to prove. But the condition is minimum material. Now what is minimum material? So that means surface area. So we need to minimize the surface area to minimize the cost of material. That's the whole idea. Now what is the surface area for a cylindrical can? So it has three surfaces, top and bottom. This is top and bottom and the lateral surface, right? So these are the three surfaces. So we say surface area uh, is pi r square is that one on the top and same at the bottom so 2 times pi r square plus lateral area which is 2 pi r which is circumference times height 2 pi r times height so that becomes the surface area which we need to minimize now in this we have two variables so idea is to get the equation in one variable which we can from the given condition that is k equals to pi r square h so that is the key so you need to write one of the variables in terms of the other. It's good to take h as in terms of r. So from here we can write h is equals to k divided by pi r squared. You get the idea, right? Now we can substitute this for height. So we get surface area. Let's say surface area equals to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r. Instead of h, we'll write k over pi r square right we can now simplify so we have surface area in terms of r now which is 2 pi r square plus pi and pi cancel in this case we can simplify this a bit right so so we kind of get 2 k over r so that is the surface area for us so what is the derivative of this to get minimum we have to find the critical point so let's find derivative for surface area with respect to r. So that gives us 4 pi r minus, this is r in the denominator, so minus 2k over r square. So that is the derivative. To find critical point, what do we do? So critical will be at surface area, derivative equals to 0. So we'll equate that to 0 and find the value of r. Right? So now we'll do that part. That is to say, 4 pi r should be equals to 2k over r square, right? Only then s dash r will be 0. So we want to do what? We want to make surface area rate of change as 0. So that means these two are equal, right? Now we'll just cross multiply. So we get 4 pi r q equals to 2 times k. Now what is k equals to? k is pi r square h. So we can write this as 4 pi r cube equals to 2 times pi r square h. So we are relating back radius with, with height. You get the idea, right? Since we have to prove that the height is equal to diameter. Diameter is 2 times radius. What is diameter? 2 times radius, right? So I hope you can see it now. So once you calculate 
So we say height is equals to what? So height is equals to so we say height is equals to four pi r cube divided by two pi r square. Correct? So if you do this you get two r is equals to height, which is diameter, right? So you get the idea. So once you once you rearrange, you can prove that height is equals to 2r to minimize the cost or to minimize the surface area, right? So that is that is how it should be proven. Now to figure out whether this is indeed a minimum or not, you can analyze your derivative. So analyze the surface area. So we are analyzing now surface area with respect to r. The critical point for us is that now, in terms of r and height, you could actually change your expression. You could write down s dash a s equal to, if I have radius is equals to height, that means k is pi r square h. So, I'll replace k with pi r square h here and get an expression. So, we have 4 pi r minus 2 times pi r square h over r square, right? So, so that gives you an expression which is in terms of r and h right so so if i take take a value of r which is greater than h let us say so if i take a value of r so basically what we we have here is if, now in this particular case what we can do is if i take r as greater than half h right so if i take r as greater than half h in that case i have positive right so my rate of change is positive and if i take r as less than half of h then my value here will be negative it will be kind of negative right so we can see that the surface area is minimum at this point right so you can rearrange your equation use both r and h since we are relating r and h so it's kind of tricky so you can do that to explain why at r equals to half of height, right? Or you could say this is the same as r equals to half of h, right? So we use this condition here to prove that this is indeed the minimum surface area. I hope that is a very important aspect and that is absolutely clear to you. So whenever you're doing optimization questions, try to find the critical point and also prove that it is indeed the minimum. Thank you and all the best.